What is going on guys? Today we have got Bowen completed and let's have a look at the review for him then. So we've got a right mid, 86 in the Prem from West Ham. In terms of the upgrade, we've gone from a 79 all the way up to an 86, which is always nice and most definitely a decent card in terms of Prem. He is a four-star, three-star, so decent off the start with the uh, with the skill moves. Left-footed as always, right mid, right wing. And in terms of pace, I'd say you'd definitely look at a hunter for this card. I think in terms of what people are saying, yeah, easily a hunter. If you was obviously to look at footbin, we go across, you're looking at 94 pace, 92 shooting. Already fantastic. 89 or 90 on the left wing, right wing, or striker, which again is Always good, never going to complain at that one. Then in terms of dribbling side of stuff, 89 already, 85 composure, very, very happy with. I don't know in terms of the card, what do we got? Nines and eights, which is always good. In terms of play styles, we've got technical. So we've added a long ball pass and also a rapid onto there as well. So adding some play styles, which is always decent. I would like a play style plus at one point, but I don't feel like they're going to do it in these objectives. It'll be a little bit forward from now. In terms of the card, though, I think you've got some good players around him that you can use. We also had a Wilson and Trailblazer, so that is also going to be a very good card that you can link him with. And let alone that, we had a Watkins the other day, which again is going to be a card that works really, really well with him. I think at the moment we're going to change him for Dembele at the moment. So we've got Wilson and Watkins right here as always. Saka would be his position. I think he can't play left wing anymore. Could he play? I think he could play left wing last week, uh, last year. That might have been during his team of the season. But if we whack him in, he can obviously play right wing as well. We're going to play him in the right mid, right wing role. I don't feel like as a striker he's going to quite suit. But I do think the hunter that we're going to have to buy, is going to be well worth doing it. So let's buy the Hunter, put him on him, and let's jump into him. FC24 is here, and Sky Coach has all your needs covered. From squad battles, champs, qualifications, and even now draft boosting, there is a long list of services they do give, as well as coaching, and also the big one everybody wants in FC24 coins. The service is fast and reliable and you will get your coins, your boosting services or obviously coaching in a matter of hours. If you do want to get any of these, make sure you head over to skycoach.gg, go onto the website and when you go to checkout, make sure that you are using the code JT11 at checkout for your 5% off your orders. And if you'd prefer to do this on mobile, check out the screen right now with the QR code for their mobile app. So let's jump in straight away with him. I think the big competition straight away... Wow, that was awful. The big competition he's got straight away is going to be someone like a Salah in the Prem. That's going to be the number one. But my personal favourite at the moment in right mid is going to be our boy Dembele. Can we find the finet? Okay, a little bit of power and he might have got that. I know he doesn't have the finesse trait, but sometimes it's always worth one with his shooting being very high up there. That's a wicked ball going away. And again, bit of agility, trying to push himself forward. Pace-wise, seems decent so far. That is definitely something we need from a winger. And obviously, the hunter is going to provide absolute ounces of that. We've got Tamore on the run. S literally, the, the, the dribbling-wise seems decent. Gets the good touch in, pulls it back. Big shot from Son and Dudek with a save. What have we got free kick wise? We've got 88, 798. So not really going to be our free kick taker by by any imagination. But most definitely is, is there as an option as a left footed corner taker if you really wanted to. Zola, can we go? Can we work this across? Captain Villa trying to find his movement. It's all the way across there, which is always nice. And having that left foot on the inside just means that you can almost fake the opponent at times. We have got the four-star skills as well. Strength coming in handy. As we know, we're going to try... Oh, I was going to say, I know. We're not going to try and uh, kind of byline every single chance. But most definitely has that option to be able to, to fake between it. The three-star skill, uh, weak foot, isn't necessarily going to be the number one shout for him. I always would like Dembele with the 5-5. Five, five, but it's just here where we can kind of find our movement in. Look for the finesse across and it's nearly there. Bowen, look for the back stick. It's a great header. It's a solid, solid run. Pinging it back into him. Looking again for a near post. He's got a bit of power on his shot, which is always nice. I must admit, I feel like the finishing should be a little bit better from myself there. We, we kind of go in for a little bit more 
amazing shots rather than necessarily the, the kind of easier ones. I'm just interested to see and, and kind of find his range on which we can we can kind of expect goals from him as such. And again, looking for him down this wing. The pace is more than more than enough, to be honest. I, I do like the, the kind of play style plus with like a rapid or a technical, but I, I feel like he's doing absolutely just fine. The close control dribbling's decent. You could definitely have a decent look at in the, the kind of left stick dribbling here. Looking to try and come across, but he's he's read that like an absolute book. Good tackle from Bowen. Looking for the one two with Haaland. If we can squeeze it through. I kind of know as we're looking for that left foot if we can. There's the one. Finds the finesse. Again, good ball. Finding the out with him. We've got, we've got Valverde chasing. We know we've got that pace on him, surely. Looking for the try and cut in here. Does Tamore. Again, good interception. Can we find a little bit of Haaland? A little back, little back to him. It's just not good enough. <laughs> Come on. Find something. Here we go. Inside. Oh, he's got the spread of the wings here. We've got the left back gone. Tamore is absolutely rapid, but Bowen is managing to get round. Little ball roll two. Finds the finish. Oh my God, just get in. He has been so unlucky. He's having that complete goal drought, that first one. Once we get one, we know full well he'll absolutely bang a few. And he's, he's oh, that's crazy crazy criminal but once we know he's got one he's going to get it he's kind of just feeling like he's just out of that look a little bit and sometimes you get it with players they just don't quite get that that first game look once they're out of that kind of drought of one goal they like i say they absolutely slap the goals oh it's got to be he's on side surely this has got to be the moment but oh my i've, I've screwed it screwed it Get it! Oh, that is my fault totally. That was horrendous, literally. Can he make up for his mistakes? That's the big question. Got a big run from Griezmann. Pace is absolutely fine. Oh, okay, I say, I say it's fine until we can find something into Greasy. Back out to Bowen. Can we can we oh can we get even a shuffle at the minute? We're absolutely done out. His, his stamina is completely done in the 90th as we find Messi on the ball. Can we have a bit of a better game? That's the question with this one. See if we can find a little Duke inside. He's got a good acceleration out. It's good interception from Modric, though. Good turn. It's a problem with Vir Virgil's going to be the one that, that really hinders this run, if anything. We need a little bit of a skill going on. A little shake. He's got Virgil just absolutely running ragged. Get the free kick. It's always perfect. If he had a bit of a better free kick, we could possibly have had a little go on there. But I don't know if I've got any left footers, to be fair to him. So he's going to gonna have to try and just pop it up and hope that somebody gets the header. Bowen's jumping up. Bowen looking for the options. Coming all the way round. All the way round. Pings it across. And why is Son not getting in the front there? Oh, he's on the back foot here. Looking for the cut in if we can. Ah, Kimpembe. Oh, he's made the mistake. Zola! Finally, we get something to go our way. But a good work from Bowen. Pace-wise, very, very nice. And I'm not saying that he needs to be a scorer all the time. As naturally, he's going to be lower than a lot of players. He's 86. He's a free objective. That pass needed to be more clean. But in, ter in terms of kind of what I'm expecting from him... It's not going to be to be in the, in the main team. Like, nat naturally. If you've got a Dembele... Ooh, nearly. You're going to have somebody already better than him. And I feel like I've got two accounts. Both of them have managed to get Dembele. The 5-5 five five is always going to be better than a 4-3. Uh, naturally, oh, naturally, he has got the Playstar Plus, which this year is a massive bonus on any card. And it's why they're, they're definitely sought after more than anything. So you were already at a disadvantage with no Playstar Plus, no 5-5, five five, or at least even a 5-star skills. But pace-wise, definitely got it. Can we find a little bit of Zola there? It's a good pass, but uh, Danilo's going for it, which is that uh, Pereira as well, the Centurions. This guy definitely not wasting any objective card. Maybe he's trying to do the Bowen as well. Good on that defensive, holding him there. He knows full well that he could probably outpace, but Bowen doing enough. Tries to ping a little one into Haaland, but that, that's more my force in the pass more than anything. Probably should have gone for a little A pass rather than trying to go over the top. So we try and find him here. A little bit of skills on the left back, but not enough. 
This could be our only moment to act. Ah, oh. it could have been our only moment to get a goal with Bowen, but he's decided, no, what? we don't want it anyway. But if we do go into the overall forum then, so 86 rated, it's a good upgrade from the card. Never, never going to complain of that. We get a couple of play styles, which is nice. Do we even get a skill move weak foot? He is already a four star, three star, so that is fair enough. Again, it is what it is with him. In terms of Prem wingers alone, I can already think of Diaby, a great shout for very little coins. He's again going to have the rapid play star plus or quick step, whichever which one it is. You've got Sala, always going to be number one top dog there. You then got Saka. I'm not too massively fond of Saka in this game. I feel like his upgrade is definitely worth it. But when it comes to the gold, very bog standard. And it mainly comes down to that play style plus. That extra bit of pace, just even from that, is a big factor. We then also have the Diaby, like I said. And they're kind of like my two prems. I'm looking at uh, Diaby. I'm looking at Sala. They're going to be my ones that I would say are worth having a look at. If you're going into then just the overall right mid position, and yes, I'm not going to compare him to Garincha or George Besters. In terms of price, it just makes absolute zero sense. But if we look at him kind of in like the the bog standard sort of zone, like 100k and under, where you could actually spend on the card, Dembele is going to be number one on my list there. I'm a big fan of him. Let alone that, you've got Kubo as a player of the month. Another great card that you can get. Kudos, if you've managed to do the SBC for the Road to the Knockouts, was a phenomenal card to get done. Very, very pacey down there. Frimpong's more of a right wing back anyway. Madison doesn't play right mid. Diana, a great card. To be honest, I've seen him more as a striker, so I'll let him off. And then if we go a bit further down, Mares not as much. You've got a uh, Trailblazer Cubo if you missed out on the SBC. Rodrigo's not a terrible shout, especially with a four-star. Four-star, we know skill-wise, is always going to be good. And then we kind of go into where he would really just fit in. As I don't think he's necessarily awful, but I don't think he's number one on the list by any imagination. Pace-wise was good. Finishing, we got a bit of it, but to be honest, he was struggling against the teams we're coming up against. Whatever super teams were out today, they just had everybody. When it comes to the strength battle against a Virgil of Iran, unfortunately, my gameplay just wasn't good enough. And, and maybe, yes, you could find a, an elite level player that's going to absolutely tear everybody, but naturally I try and give you what I can if he doesn't play well in the two free games that I play that is all I've got to go off maybe we could do an update later on and it's why I always suggest having a look at the tier list is it will go a little bit further into detail if I find that I play him in another five matches if I use him in objectives and he does well I kind of update his list I kind of go off a little bit more than what I can see here right now I can see pace is good Physicality, not as really there. Shooting was okay, but nothing too crazy. Missed a couple of chances. Again, you could blame it on me quite easily. But I must admit, when it comes to Dembele, it was like, it, it just, it was easy. It was, it was flawless coming down the wing. His shots on the inside, the skills are always nice. It's just a lot different in comparison to going with a Bowen. But it's a nice objective card nonetheless. I'll always take Prem players, especially if you could either use him as fodder later on down the line or have him linked up as an English objective or even Prem if you haven't necessarily got a Sala as of yet. So let me know down below if you've got to complete it. Make sure you do like and subscribe and I'll catch you all for the next one. Peace.